Hello everyone, today I want to continue to talk about my new plugin Obsidian Better Plugin page. So uh, I update the uh, plugin a little bit, I update the readme and then I complete a few issues and then I do a couple release. Now the version is 1.0.12 and I, so in the readme, you can see that there's a save fu uh, functions here and then there's a bookmark uh once you save the plugin and then also uh, list all the key features uh that uh you can uh have in this plugin which is really cool i already submit the plugin to the obsidian team for approval and hopefully it will get approved soon it, it is a little bit different from uh hidden plugins because uh so let's say uh, from the 100 uh, 1300 plugins you really don't want to see uh, 100 of them so you hide 100 of the plugins but there's 100 plugins another 100 plugins which you really like uh, but you haven't installed uh, install them all so you save them here so so it is like different thing they're they're the save plugin and the hidden plugins are different concepts let's say I I like this cardboard because uh the cardboard plugin I think is the is is like the more than Kaban plugin I guess I think it's like nicer and beautiful more beautiful I guess like something like that I've researched it before but I haven't used it yet and then the obsidian columns I don't need it I hide it Pom, uh the pomodoro I don't need it uh paste image rename I don't need it uh focus mode I don't need it and let's say I need this need this um need this something like that and then you can toggle uh the on, only show safe plugin filter and then only see all, um these filter plugin and then it works with the search as well let's say you let's say you only want to see outline the plugin which have the text outline and it is safe so now you can see that uh there there's a filter here the pokemon filter is is really awesome to be honest uh, in my opinion i really like it um and yeah i hope you like this feature i found it uh, i found this feature uh, very uh, useful because now i don't uh before uh if i am interested in a plugin i'm i, I need to install it but disable it in in the plugin list and i think it is really dirty it makes my uh plugin is really dirty now i if i don't need it uh, right away i can just uninstall it and then uh code block initializer i think there's a code block in these in uh or uh what was that was what's that plugin call uh code customizer right and now i just need to in uninstall it and then uh save it and i i can find it in the future so this is really handy. The second feature is is the plugin notes. So what it means is that I know a lot of people will write a plugin note. Uh, will write a note for the plugin that they're using. Uh, especially for those uh, mega plugins. Let's say the data view. And now if you go to the setting tab and then toggle this feature flag. Then, if you go to the plugin, you will see that there's a my notes here. So uh, it will connect to any notes that you have in your valves with the same name of the plugin. Let's say uh, this. If I click, click to my notes, it will go to data view. It doesn't matter uh, where the file is. Uh, it can be nested in uh, many folders. It can be nested into many folders, but. It doesn't matter because it will it will uh, only check the base name. Let's say it, it will shows that there, it is like inside the test folder, and if the if the file doesn't exist yet, it will create it in it will create in the root folder, and let's say now it creates a file called linter in the root folder, and then oh, and then you can move it, and then you can move file to another folder, move it to test. And then open the browser settings. If you go to linter, you will see that my notes is in the task folder. So it is really cool. 
but if you don't want this feature you can simply uh, disable this feature flag the final thing that I have done in the release is to fix some bugs and then also uh, do some uh, performance optimization so now uh, even if uh, you can see that there, there are 300 plug in uh, being uh, hidden it is still very fast let's say I toggle this and then I uh, uh, toggle these settings it will come out immediately um, so hidden immediately and show immediately so it is fast I did some performance uh, update I feel like this is all for the plugin. Um, some people say I have have other feature requests for the plugin. I feel I feel like everyone is very excited because this is probably the first plugin that um, exists in the community plugin store to allow you to manage the like basically this page. And I am also very happy because it has been an honor to uh, work with. Uh, the Obsidian community. I re I really I really like uh working for the uh Obsidian community, even if it is uh for free. But I feel like I don't want to overcomplicate things. For example, adding tags to manage these plugins, uh, is just too much. I think it's just too much. I feel like bookmarking them and hiding them, and then also allowing you to uh filter the updates, the time. Uh, future the download count is already enough it's already enough so oh there's some bugs here it seems like there there are some new plug in release without any download count it still show uh but this is a minor bug yeah so you can see that now uh up greater than 10000 greater than 10000 now uh it will filter the plug in greater than 10,000. So I feel like this plugin is, uh, the feature set is complete and I don't plan to add any more uh, features to this plugin, but I will uh, focus on uh, fixing bugs. If you guys have any uh, bug report, just uh, open an issue in the GitHub repository and I will be happy to answer that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like this plugin. Uh, if you don't mind, please go to my GitHub repo, start a plugin. If you like this video, like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye.